All right, what's going on, YouTube? And today I'm gonna show you how to return like a Boolean to return true or false to see if like a number is inside of an array. So first we start by defining an array. We could say, we say int array, and then we're gonna fill in the numbers by ourselves. We could do, let's just do one, two, up to all, all the way up to 10. Okay. So now we have an array named ARR, just short for array. So now we need to get user input. We say scanner SCNR equals new, Scanner system dot in. Okay. So now we can actually get user input. So now we could uh, we can create a boolean. We could say boolean and we could call it is found. And if is found is true, that means the number is inside of our array. And if is found is false, it's not in our array. Okay. And then we also need user input. So we could say user input equals scanner dot next int so we have an array of 10 numbers and we want to ask the user for uh, like a, for a number and then we're going to see if that number is inside of an array we're going to have a method that we're going to pass in we're going to we're going to return like a boolean value into is found and if is found is like true that means it's in there so we could actually say boolean is found equals what can we call the method? Something like uh, we let's say, let's say boolean found, and we could call the method is found, and then we could pass in our array, and then our user input. So let's actually create the method. We could say, let me line it up. Public static void, no, it's public static boolean because we have to return a boolean. And then we can call it is found. And we want this method to take in an array. So we could have int. We'll call it int array. And then we want it to have um, another integer x. This is going to be the user input. I don't think it likes that. Or it just wants to return something. So we could uh, have a return right now. Return false just, just by default. Okay. So now we can send in our array and our user input into the isFound method. And let's see. Okay. So now we have that. So whatever the isFound method return is going to go into the Boolean uh, variable named found. And if it's true, we'll print our numbers in there. And if it's false, that means our number is not in there. So let's actually go into like the isFound method and like let's write the code to see if that number is inside of our, is inside of our array. We say for int i equal to zero, i less than array dot length, and we can increment i. So this loop just iterates through the array. And then we can use if, another if statement. We could say if array at i equals, we can say that equals to x, if that's true, then we can return true because that means the number's in there. So we get return true. And if that's not the case, it's automatically gonna return false. So when we call this method, we're passing in our array and our user input. And whatever it returns is gonna be stored into our Boolean found. And now let's actually do something with their found Boolean. We can use an if statement, we could say if found equal equal to true, that means our number is in there. We could print something out. We could say, what do we say? We could say user input is inside the array. Is in the array. Oh, gotta spell the variable right. It's a capital F. So if found is true, if the method, if this method returns true, that means the number is in there. And if that's not, we could say else. Then we can literally copy this code and say is not in the array. Let's zoom out a little bit and let's run it. Then we get all the code on screen. Okay. So let's do a test run, see what happens. So let's enter 25, 256. 
256 without an array. Let's enter one. One is inside the array. Nine, okay, nine inside the array. 10, 10 is in the array. 78, 78 is not in the array. It seems the program's working. I was actually having a hard time with this the other day, so I wanted to make a video. Just for, really for myself, and if it helps any of you guys, I was having a hard time like though with return returning true or false inside of a boolean. So now that I understand a little bit, hopefully this helps you helps you at all. And if you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe.